Yes, um, I'm here at um, 2018 Desert Mob in front, in front of the Warragalung Artists uh, displays. Quite, quite interesting displays. Some very, very nice words from Warragalung. Um, the first one here is a Murdy Morris, which is a very, very atypical um, palette that's been chosen. And quite bold and quite challenging for a Murdy. They tend to be um, a little bit more theme towards, for example, red and orange and yellow hues. This the really mixed up the really mixed up the colours. Um, this is a particularly good work. So, um, Kano and Gallery, we love um, Theo Hudson's works. They're they're fantastic. She's really and she's really come on in the last two years or so. This is a very very bold work. Uh, it's extremely well executed. Very very um, resolved work. Um, lovely, lovely uh, palette that's chosen, very complementary colours. Um, yeah, I think probably of all the works here, I think that's the, that's the, uh, that's the pick of the Warrigal Line works. Absolutely fantastic. Pauline Gallagher's really interesting. So Pauline, um, this is a, a relatively new style for her. She's, she's actually had worked through quite a few different styles over the years. I've noticed as Cecilia sent down uh, art to us from, uh, from, from the Art Centre. Um, personally, I, 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 I like where she's going with this star. Um, the, the exact work, I'm not 110% sure of, but, uh, but, it's, a, but it's, it's, a, it's a good direction that she's going. It's, it's different um, and a great thing that the artist is clearly challenging herself. Not being not being stuck in stuck in a rut, and she's really challenging herself as well with um, so not only the structure of the painting, the representation of the and the representation of the chukupa, but trying to blend these um, these uh, these colours together. This this uh, challenging palette. So good job, really really good job. This one's a it's a very very nice work from Chantel. Now Chantel. Um, came with four other ladies from Warragalung to Cato and Gallery about three years ago, 2015, I think. And they did an artist in residence with us. It was a fun time for us all. Um, this, this work here, uh, Chantelle has chosen the colours really, really well, used them really, really nicely, and it really has a, a quite a, just a, an ethereal quality to it. Um, that's one of the better Chantel works I've seen for some time. Straight behind me here is a, a Lynette Singleton. Um, Lynette's always colourful. Um, that, and I think that's and for me the Lynette's work best when the when the the, the uh, against that black background. Sometimes she use other backgrounds. I think the contrast that you get with these with these colours is. Um, it doesn't quite work on some of the other backgrounds. I think this, this is a this is a, a lovely work. Um, so it's a really one that it's got to be absolutely right for your space, though. You know, it's something that will work for some people. It'll work for some spaces. It won't won't work in all of them. But nice nice work. Another one of my little favourites. Now this is um, I'm not sure whether it's a daughter or granddaughter of Alma Granitz, who sadly passed away in the last 12 months. Um, Athena's taking her mother slash grandmother's uh, story. We can see that's a seven sisters uh, dreaming there. Um, this is probably one of the better Athenas that I've seen. I mean, we'd hope coming or coming to a, a major show like Desert Mob that the Art Centre would be sending in their creme de la creme of their works, and this is one of them. She's been, so Athena's really, really nailed it here. Very, very nice work. And this, so Judy, Judy Nungaro Martin, uh, is an interesting, interesting style. I still think for me the style's a little bit developmental. We see, we see a few of them. As a gallerist, I haven't been attracted to them yet to uh, to to stop them. But we should keep uh, keep our eye on on Judy. That she's transitioned to this um, this uh, manifestation of her chukupa probably about 12 to 18 months ago. Uh, and it really is a significant step forward, but maybe with that one we'll just watch this space. So I hope you have enjoyed our uh, yeah, look at uh, Warragalung Artists' exhibition at Desert Mob this year.